Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, please give a round of applause for Cow. This is where you cut the music. Um, now, right now, you can cut the music. Um, um, cut the music! <laughs> this isn't working. If I'm going to have music for my entrance, it has to be perfect. Callie, I think you're taking this game way too seriously. Yeah, I know, but the intro music is the most important part. Callie, I don't want to play this game. It's not fun. They're making it all about you. I didn't even have a turn yet. No. Come on. Let's try it one more time. I don't think so. Bye, Callie. What? Wait. Come back. Oh, friends, you saw that, right? Can you believe my friend? She ruined the fun. Wait. Or did I? Hmm. I don't think I did anything wrong. But what if I did? What do you think, friends? Maybe a Bible story can help. It's time for our Bible story. Today's Bible story is about a guy named David. He's a pretty important person in the Bible. He did a lot of really cool things, including defeating a big, mean giant named Goliath with nothing but a sling and a stone. But the coolest thing about David was that he had a heart after God. Think of it this way. If God and David were in a band together, they'd sing in perfect harmony most of the time. But even David sang out of tune sometimes. He messed up just like we do. In fact, once he messed up big time, David was the king and being the king, he could do what he wanted. One day, David saw a woman named Bathsheba. He liked her a lot and wanted her to be his wife. But there was a problem. She already was a wife to someone else. That didn't matter to David, though. He knew that as king, he could always get his way. So he had Bathsheba be brought to the palace. This was not a good thing to do. But guess what else? David found out Bathsheba was going to have a baby. His baby. He should have just admitted what he'd done. But instead, he tried to cover it up by sending Bathsheba's husband out to battle where he sadly died. David probably thought he got away with the whole thing. But one day, God sent a guy named Nathan to King David to tell him a story. The story was about a rich man that had lots of sheep but stole a poor man's one and only sheep. The story made David so mad that he demanded to know who this rich man was. He was clearly not a good person. Nathan said, it's you, King David. Nathan explained that David had everything he could ever want because he was the king. But what he did by making Bathsheba his wife was not okay. David finally understood that he had made a huge mistake. He knew God was not happy with what he did. He admitted what he did was wrong, and he was truly sorry. God could have said, too bad, or too late. But instead, Nathan, who spoke for God, told David that God had forgiven him. Can you imagine? David's story reminds us that God never stops loving us. And when we make mistakes, we can make things right. I came back from my cold. Um. Yeah? I'm sorry. I realized I was taking the game way too seriously. It was supposed to be fun, and I got carried away. Can we try again? And this time, you go first. Cool? I would love to. Friends, I feel so much better now. I was so into the game that I didn't think about how it was making my friend feel. David probably didn't realize how big his mistake was.
was until Nathan told him. But when he found out how badly he had messed up, he told God he was sorry and really, really meant it. Have you ever made a mistake? What did you do to fix it? Remember, when we make mistakes, we can make things right. Okay, gotta run, friends. There's someone really famous here that I have to meet. You ready? I was born ready. Thanks for tuning in and growing with me. Peace out, alligator.